Welcome back, everyone. This is Power Pals. I'm Mike. This is Cole. And uh, <laughs> it's been a rough week. Yeah, <laughs> since the last time we come at you, um, you know, things haven't been looking too good. You know, we were happy. We're we were twelve and seven. We're just like, all right, we're in first place. We have the best record in our uh, league. Yeah. And, and then just everything seemed to have it's fallen apart, right? It's, it's, well, here's the reality of everything, Pirate Pals. Um, Pirates are 12 and 14. We're on an eight-game losing streak starting last Sunday and uh, to continue to this Sunday. Now we're dropped down to fourth place in the division. But this can't last forever. Uh, we did talk about how the uh, pitching wasn't going to be sustainable, and it's you know it's, we're at that point now where the law of averages it's come upon us and. Uh, we're starting to give up some runs, and certainly we're lacking some power. Everything just doesn't seem to be working together. When we do score runs, we give up, give up too many, and we, you know, we have good pitching. We can't score any runs. So, um, hopefully, things are going to turn around. So let's uh, let's recap this past week. Um, we had the four-game series against Arizona uh, to close out our home stand, and then we hit the road. And we went out to L.A. Uh, for a three-game series, and uh, both uh, series we were swept. And so let's, let's talk about last Monday. Let's talk about Monday. So uh, Musgrove pitched six, I think six-plus innings. Yeah. We were having a four-to-one lead. We're just like, all right, it's uh, that one loss against uh, the Giants. We're going to probably win. And then uh, the Pirates decided that the seventh inning wasn't their thing, letting in like eight runs in the seventh inning, and also uh, Bernie just completely, uh, oh, yeah. his arm just, wow. I guess, twisted? I have no idea, but uh, well, yeah, he got he, hurt. I think he tore some muscles and maybe um, strained some ligaments, but... Uh, yeah, he's gonna be out for a little while. It, uh, if you if you happen to see it uh, when it happened, it was pretty bad. He fell to the ground immediately and actually started crying. And you know, it's it's that moment where it's like, oh boy, you know this is serious. Um, he's gonna get a second opinion, and initially it doesn't look as bad as it did on tape. And so, bring us to Tuesday. We actually we lost two to one, which was you know after a. 4 to 12 loss, you kind of like losing 2 to 1 actually makes you feel a bit good, right? Yeah, well, Williams pitched really well. Again, seven strong innings. And, you know, we were talking about the uh, starting pitching, you know, Monday and Tuesday, even though we lost, uh, you know, Musgrove and Williams pitched really well. Um, and then Wednesday rolled along and uh, things just got bad. <sighs> With a. Two to eleven loss. Just I mean, we're just depleted. We have no confidence going to Thursday, which prompted us to get new runs and a uh, five, five, to, five loss. nothing loss. Um, so that was a, you know, that was no way to end the home series. Um, you know, it kind of wipes out our four game sweep of the Reds. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point in time, you know, it wasn't looking good. Because we're heading to the Dodgers, and Dodgers are just their machine right now. They have a really great team. Uh, they have the money. They have, you know, a complete roster. Um, so, Friday, um, we lost 6-2. to two. Um, Saturday, you know, again, one of the situations where the pitching was pretty well, and we just couldn't score runs. We lost 3-1. It's, it's just that, and also... Uh you know, like a routine play, just like Cole Tucker made this really nice play, threw it to first, and then Bell just caught it, and then it dropped out of his uh, yeah. dropped out of his glove, and then we got a strikeout. It was one out before that. We got a strikeout. That should have been it. That should have been the two end. Two outs instead of three outs, and then on that two outs, uh, somebody, I forget who it was, Hit a double to score two runs, and that's how we lost Saturday. So yeah. it's just basic mistakes like that is going to cost us games. So yeah. the <laughs> bad fielding again. You know, Bell has only you know there's been a lot of criticism about his fielding, but this year so far he really only has two errors. But you know that one was a you know an untimely error. It was just you know cost us to lose the game. 
for what's brought us to today, Sunday's game. Um, we had the lead and um, we gave it up. We battled back a couple of times and we it's just not enough. Mm -hmm. And we lost seven to six. It's just, if we're, so these last seven games, no, actually these last eight games that we lost, we got outscored 47 to 17. Now, if you're going to lose, if you're going to have that, that many runs scored against you, you're not going to win games, nah. especially with 47 to 17. Yeah. I mean, you got outplayed by 30 runs in these last eight games. So it's just, it's, it's just well, not the, good. The offense, you know, is a problem right now. Um, the only... Um, you know, positive on the offense is Josh Bell. He's, he's hit six runs and has 19 RBIs. Melky Cabrera had a heck of a game today. It almost seems to be, you know, it was wasted because he hits two home runs, has four hits, and um, he's batting 333 now, but it just wasn't enough. Um, you know, we're missing the timely hitting like we had during the win streak. Um, you know, again, we're not getting the quality starts. You know, the bullpen is, you have its up and down, ups and downs, and, you know, you, you have the untimely error. So, you know, this is the, this is the law of averages. This is what baseball is kind of about. It kind of happens. Um, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Um, upcoming, um, uh, we, we're going to have a finish off the road series uh, with Texas for a two-game series. We're going to be off tomorrow. Then Tuesday, Wednesday against the Rangers. We're going to be off Thursday. Then we're going to be back home. Um, with continued interleague play, three games set against the Oakland Athletics, and then another two-game series with the Rangers. So um, here's what we need: we, you know, to to really get things rolling, it'd be nice if we could um, sweep this two-game set against the Rangers, get back to 500. We almost kind of need to. Um, the Rangers are a decent team; uh, they're 14 and 13 right now. So um, you know, they're not that much better than us. So you know, we absolutely have to lose you know, this this Split next game. The series. Come Tuesday, we got to win. We have to win just to end the streak. <laughs> but uh, it would be nice if we could sweep them and then come back home with a 500 record and get the ball rolling again. Uh, another uh, down note: uh, Chris Archer was placed on the 10-day injured reserve list. And uh, but on a positive note, uh, Gregory Polanco is back and Lonnie Chisenhall is now doing some rehab assignments and so is Corey Dickerson so you know getting those players back would be uh you know and, and starting Marte should be back in their future too so basically you know getting our outfield starting outfield back getting the offense going again um that should help out yeah I don't see I don't seem too bothered about this eight game losing streak I mean we were we were laughing about the Reds losing eight in a row at yeah. the beginning of the season, so now it's kind of karma, but whatever. Well, it's, we, again, like my dad said, it's not going to, we're not going to lose every single game. What's so. funny is, you know, when we won the six in a row, I thought to myself, wow, we're not going to we're not going to lose another game, and here we are eight games later, eight losses, and, you know, and, you know, uh, it feels like we almost might not win another game, but it, we will. It'll happen. Okay, so let's get our answer from our last segment's trivia question. We want to know the years and the average that Roberto Clemente led the league in batting. In 1961, he led the league with a 359 batting average. 1964, he led the league with a 339 batting average. 1965, he led the league with a 329 batting average. In 1967, he led the league with a 357 batting average. All right, now here's our, this segment's um, trivia question. What Pittsburgh Pirate has the record for most consecutive games with hits? Okay, that's a trivia question. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on all of our videos. You know what time it is. Let's go, Buck!